Hey guys, welcome back to a new weekend vlog and it feels like a little while since I last vlogged although I don't think it really has been but I have actually been craving picking up the camera so I thought now is a good time to come back. It's actually just over a week since we got married so ooh, I now have two rings which is very exciting, it's so nice and yeah it's been a bit of a whirlwind couple of weeks I I don't really know where to start because not everyone's going to want to hear about my wedding content or whatever but also this is obviously a pretty big part of my life and I've vlogged quite a lot of my life now which is actually quite funny because although like obviously I've not got the, the biggest of views and things I had some absolutely amazing messages from lots of viewers that have sort of watched me over time from when I used to live with my parents and then we moved out and then we obviously have been traveling and yeah you have been there for quite a lot of my life so far and to now obviously be married and be in a different house yeah it's just quite fun being able to sort of take you on the ride with me and as I said I had some absolutely lovely messages and it just sort of it just feels quite special that yeah quite a few of you have you quite a few of you have sort of been there through this journey with me so yeah I guess leading up to the wedding I was feeling quite anxious and stressed particularly over the fact that I was so worried some of my family might get ill and not be able to come obviously covid cases had been rising particularly badly that week before and you know my family couldn't just stop everything in their lives and they couldn't not go to work and all of that so that everyone was a bit at risk obviously but so thankfully everyone was able to make it and um we did have a very small wedding but just being out but just sort of one person not being able to come would have made quite a lot of difference yeah but thankfully everyone was there and it was the best day ever we were really really lucky with the weather we had it mainly out well we did have it outside um so not the ceremony but literally the ceremony was very quick and then the sort of like mini reception was outside in a little garden so we were super lucky with the weather it was quite hot but I actually don't mind the heat so I quite enjoyed it to get a little bit burnt um in my wedding dress but yeah it was the most loveliest day um it felt really special with all our family there it felt just quite special as well because I don't really feel like I've ever had an occasion where apart from sort of my hen do recently where it's sort of been about me I've never had like a big party um I never had like an 18th or anything like that so it felt quite special <laughs> and to be a bit selfish and like yeah um and just to have the Prosecco poured for me when I needed it so it was a really really nice day and everything went to plan and even just like the evening before it was really chill we went down to the beach and had chips with Dan's family um and then the day off um we <laughs> Something we did in the evening actually of the wedding, not everyone obviously would do this, you might have like a party or a big like reception after the main bit, but we just went for a drink, the two of us, and it was so, so nice. We were just sort of reliving the day and um, we had a cocktail and like it was, yeah, just really lovely. And then the day after, um, we left for Cotswolds from our house and just had the best few days away there as well. And it was really tranquil and it was really like relaxed and um, I've been posting quite a lot of wedding photos and also a little reels vlog type thing of our sort of mini moon so if you don't follow me on Instagram go and have a look there um, but I will insert a picture here um, of our wedding um, if you have sort of like missed it and yeah the photos so far are amazing they are just previews at the moment so we haven't had the full selection but so far just been super happy with them but yeah, obviously when I came home, I felt a bit sad that the wedding was over. I wanted to do it all over again, but without kind of like the anxiety of the morning and being worried about everything going to plan. Um, and also just, I felt a bit sad that the wedding and the mini moon were over. And then obviously I had to go back to work a couple of days after. But now I'm looking back at it just with like obviously fond memories and also the fact that I've got one less thing on my brain to think about and to worry about and it has actually been quite nice just sort of having quieter evenings and being like wow what was I doing with my time before and just yeah just generally feeling like there's less on 
my brain and my to-do list so that has actually been really nice you can see we've had quite a lot of cards and just generally been feeling the love from a lot of people obviously my friends and my family and yeah just like reading the really nice messages and cards has been just wonderful and it makes you feel quite spoilt so yeah i've been in definitely in a bit of a bubble for sure so yeah sorry dan just interrupted me my husband i feel like i'm probably really being annoying to people <laughs> but there is a nice thing about saying husband and wife that has been really nice and um yeah it's nice seeing dan with a ring on he wasn't necessarily gonna even get a ring he actually was potentially gonna get a tattoo but I just said I think a ring is more sensible than a tattoo. So he has gone for a ring. So that has been really nice. Um, but yeah, I won't ramble on too much. But I'm wondering whether to do a Q&A soon. Not necessarily just about the wedding. Um, but just a general sort of chit chat. Because I do quite like watching them myself. And yeah, people seem, seem to like asking questions. So um, if you have got any questions about the wedding or non-wedding related let, leave them in the comment box below or maybe drop me a line on instagram and yeah i'll try and maybe fit something in because uh, i think that'd be quite nice um but yeah it is saturday as i said it's like a week gone now from the wedding this probably won't go up until like a week after because i just want time to be able to edit it and yeah it's i mean it's pretty much blooming lunchtime now but i've basically been in bed just chilling on my scrolling on my phone reading a little bit having breakfast in bed have now had a shower um done a tiny bit of tidying and dusting dan's just made me a coffee but now i am gonna pop into town because i need to get quite a few bits um it's like my sister and my nephews are coming around tomorrow which would be really lovely to see them so i just want to get some bits for lunch um i want to make my mum and dad a hamper so i'm gonna get some bits for that and it's a friend's birthday next week. So yeah, lots sort of going on. So I just want to get a few things. And yeah, just generally, you know, when you sort of run out of stuff. And it's actually been quite nice to do like a few more normal things like that. I went into town quite a bit before the wedding. Because we were almost like isolating a little bit. And um, it was just nice to have a pond around the shops. Which I hadn't done in a long time. So I'm quite looking forward to going out. Although it does look like it might rain. And then, yeah, as I said, my sister's coming around tomorrow and just generally not a lot really. Um, but I might, we, we might go to Dunnell Mill later actually because there's a few things I'd quite like. So I'll take you along for that. We are planning to go to Ikea soon as well, which is really exciting because we haven't been in a really long time. And there's quite a few things that we'd like to get. So obviously when that happens, I might try and vlog a bit of that. Oh, what a whirlwind catch up there. Um, I will also say, near the wedding, I really wanted to get my nails done and a couple of my hens did get me a voucher. But I was getting really, really anxious about COVID leading up to it. So as I said, we were pretty much sort of isolating. So I didn't go to the salon. So I did end up buying my own nail gel kit. And I'll show you which one I got later. Excuse my fingers, they are not great. But I'm really happy with the gel um, kit. This is like a purpley colour as you can see. So yeah, I'll show you that later because I'm really into that. 100% going to go get my nails done soon as like a bit of a post-wedding treat with the voucher. But um, long term, I think a machine is quite good. But I'd always like not, I'd always kind of wanted one but then never bought one. But obviously now I've bought one. Anyway, I've been rambling for a long time. So I'm going to stop this bit for now and come back to you in a bit. Okay, it's a bit later and I've been into town, got what I wanted, had to go to like three shops or even four, which always seems to be the way. But I'm now making my mum and dad's hamper and I really like doing things like this so I thought I would show you what I'm doing as like a little DIY crafty thing. Um, I obviously could have like just bought a hamper online but um, I'm going to come here because the lighting is better that way around. But, oh yeah, excuse the mattress. <laughs> But for your money, you can do it yourself and get more personal things. So um, I'm going to, yeah, do it myself. And I'm a bit of a hoarder. But when it comes to things like this, that works to my advantage. Because I tend to always have some things that I can use for stuff like this. So this is a box that was a big box. Sort of like this height or even taller um, from White Company. And what I've done is I've just chopped it shorter using a Stanley knife not the most neat but I'm just gonna um add a bit more strength to this by putting some 
uh, big brown tape underneath just adding a bit more there and then I'm going to wrap it in brown paper and then I've kept loads of old tissue paper so I'm going to use that and I've also got some old what's it called bubble wrap that I'm going to lay in the bottom as well and then I can show you what I got them um but yeah I just like it I like being able to do it myself and put a bit of love into it so let's get crafting Okay, it's probably not as neat as I was hoping, <laughs> but we got there in the end-ish. So this is what it looks like inside. I've used this tape in the end that I found in the drawer as well, um, just to try and tidy up the bits that didn't look as good. But it looks quite neat-ish. Um, so I'm gonna put the bits in it now and hopefully yeah, it'll look good once it's all in. Okay guys, we're nearly there. Now, this did look a bit sad before I managed to find this stuff, which I think has just leveled it up. <laughs> and now I feel like I've made a professional hamper. So yeah, still some cheeses to put in there, but um, it's all their favorite things. My mum loves a Trebbiano wine. They love coffee, just some nice bits to nibble on. So yeah, I think we're looking quite good now. Dan is just making us coffee and then I think we're going to head off to Dunelm Mill so well and b and Q, I I think I am just trying to find my thank you cards because I want to write one out for mum and dad and then yeah we are good to go. We just got back from Dunnell Mill and well I'm being cute and I thought I'd just show you our really random haul because we got some very random things. On the way home I said to Dan I really can't bother to do shop um, like food cooking tonight and I really fancy pizza so um went into Waitrose and they had some pizza on offer so we've got a couple of veggie pizzas. Got margarita and this one which sounds really interesting garlic mushroom and fresh spinach so it's like a white sauce one and versus tomato but yeah excited i think i might crack open some prosecco tonight was debating with the steward last night and then didn't got these cushions in dunnell mill but they're a bit more green than this camera showing up and i'm not convinced about them they're more for our bedroom um but i have got some other cushions coming from h m so i might wait till i've got those before i make a decision but yeah i'm not 100 percent convinced yet then also can I just say I am awful with decisions like that and I annoy myself that I can't make a decision um, but that's just who I am. <laughs> I've got a new clothes horse because I think it's always handy having more than one because I always find like I run out of room. So if you can hear that humming in the background it's Dan's computer randomly in the dining room and then Dan is hoping to finish his office soon so he wanted a couple of pot plants so we went for this cactus, which is cute. It's a nice little pot. This was from B&Q. And then we got some really interesting gloves for gardening because our gloves currently are not in a good place. Uh, Dan got another plant. Oh, I can't really show you, hold on. This little guy, he's also cute. I got some random plant pots because I need to repot a bigger house plant. And then, got some big plastic storage boxes because we've got a new bed and we need to put some stuff under the bed so yeah that is the most random haul I've ever done but I hope you enjoyed
Sunday and I'm now with my sister. Are you going to say hello? Hello! Um, and yes, my sister and nephews have come over today. So we've had a bit of lunch and now we've come to the woods for an explore. We're all kitted out in our waterproofs. So hopefully we don't get rained on. Home now after a nice little trip with the family. I have been chilling for a little bit, just made the bed and now I've come up to the loft room slash my office to tidy up because it's definitely one of those rooms that's kind of like the junk room and I just shove things up here as I'm passing and don't really tidy away properly. So as you can see, Everything is kind of here and needs to be put away. I have decided I don't like the cushions. I'm just awful. Excuse everything. And yeah, it all needs sorting out. It just gets worse and worse. So yeah, I'm going to do that now and hopefully have time to chill a little bit before I then do dinner. But I'm going to just watch vlogs while I'm sort of tidying up. Otherwise it just, yeah, but wish me luck. Okay, I'm slowly getting there. I have been getting distracted, which is always a problem because I was reading the vows that my dad, not the vows, I was reading my dad's speech from the wedding, got emotional, then was doing some bits from my hen do. So I thought I'd just show you a few things before I put them away in my keepsake box. So one of my hens, Vicky, made this from my hen do, which was so cute. How pretty is it? Um, and then made me a little poem, which is sweet. And then written some bits here and then gave me some tape and then on the day we had an instax mini and we took quite a few photos so i won't show you all of them because they're sort of private um there's, although i do really like this one of me and my mum super cute uh but what i'm actually going to do now i think is print some more off from probably snapfish um that we actually took on the day with sort of phones and then fill this up a bit so that will be really nice my mum actually as well pulled together this scrapbook with like all pictures of me from like baby to like now and it had messages from my friends and it was really really sweet and obviously I cried <laughs> um so yeah that was really really lovely as well and then in here I've got my henny bits so I loved my tiara I'm gonna keep that just for fun and then like um a thingy what's it called veil and some other bits. Oh, these glasses as well, which are super cool from my sister. Lovely. And then what else? They also got me this made, which is like a drawing, like a digital drawing of one of the photos that me and Dan have got of our engagement shoot, which is really cute. And then they all club together to get me this clutch which is so sweet and I actually wore this on the day so I had all the necessary bits I really wanted a bag on the day I wasn't necessarily sure but I much preferred just having everything in one place and then my sister kind of took hold of it for some of it when I just didn't want it so yeah but anyway I'm gonna put this all away now and just hurry up because I've no idea what the time is what is the time oh it's 10 to 6 so I'm gonna need to start doing dinner soon um, but I've quite enjoyed just, yeah, sorting through bits and bobs. I was also meant to say that I have already got this Paper Chase photo album in readiness for our wedding photos. I know it's not the most pretty, but um, just kind of going down a the theme now. I've got a couple of scrapbooks that are like that. And then I've got a couple of photo albums that are like this. We've got one like this for travelling. So yeah, I just quite like it. It's just plain and simple. So hopefully we can get a wedding photo soon. I was also going to show you this, which is a really sweet thing my sister did on the wedding day. This was off a bottle of Prosecco. I think it was the first one that we opened uh, well, after we got married. And then I think that there's some sort of tradition where you pop a coin or something in the popped cork. So that's cute. And I'm going to pop it, pop it, put it in the uh, keepsake box along with the other bits. I don't know why it's not focusing. 
I was also meant to show you my nail kit. So this is it, it's the Beatles gel polish all in one. And it actually had a lot in it. There's more in meant to be in this than there is here. I think I've got all of this stuff. So yeah, the big light and all these other bits and all this stuff and quite a few colours. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it and happy with it. So I'll leave it a link below. I think it came in quite a few different colours. So yeah. And now we are pretty much tidied up. Excuse this still. <laughs> but yeah, pretty happy with that. Now I need to go and put everything away.